Okay, it's been 48 hours since I had my chemo port removed and I am so excited to take this bandage off and shower like a normal person. I just took that off and realized I wasn't freaking recording. Oh, I'm so mad. Well, spoiler, this is it. Had the gauze and tegaderm over it and I was told to wear that for 48 hours after the uh, port removal, my deportation. And now that it's been the two days, I can finally take it off and shower like a normal person. And I'm so excited because you're not supposed to get it wet. They actually said not to shower, but I have been showering from the waist down and just like spot cleaning as well as I could because your girl is not gonna go two days without a shower. And if you missed my previous video, I've been wearing a sports bra basically 24 seven, um, just to support all of this, this skin. Because the first night I came home and when I was going to bed, I took my bra off and I realized that by laying in bed, gravity was pulling my chest one direction or another and it was putting a lot of tension on this. And so I've just been living in a sports bra and it was also helpful to wear one of these when I shower so that I don't get crazy with the shower head and accidentally spray up here and get it wet, which also supported the breastuses so that it wasn't putting tension because it was tender. Um, it's just, it's really itchy. It's so itchy, which I guess is a good thing. That means it's, it's healing. And we can't see much yet because I do still have three Steri strips on it, which the instructions say to leave them alone and they will fall off on their own in uh, five to seven days, which if I remember correctly from my biopsy, they didn't actually last a week. So we will see, but a little tender, it's not bad. And it's, it's very itchy, very, very itchy. And I apologize, it looks gross. Um, but yeah, it's cool, it's flat. My port is gone. I can show you. They let me keep my port. The port was here, and then this straw went over my collarbone here, and they inserted it into a vein, and it was like flapping around above my heart. <laughs> and this is how they administered my immunotherapy and my chemo and they let me have this but yeah they made a little incision here to slip the straw in and i was hoping it would go away but it's still there it bothers me it looks it looks like a pimple but it is what it is and then this is one of my radiation tattoo dots i've got five of them uh, I've had them lasered once. It's a long story and then I stopped. I will continue that at a later date, but yeah, this is day one of no tagaderm and I am so excited to go shower like a normal person and wash my hair and get my body completely wet and clean. So of course I will keep you guys updated as to the healing process but if you have any questions you know that you can always reach out i am an open book when it comes to this stuff yay no more port <laughs>